We often read of that still, small voice that's in each of us. Hi, this is Tony Agnesi. It's a voice that guides our path, discerns right from wrong, helps us to make decisions that will forever be part of our lives. It's our moral conscience, formed over time based on the natural law, honed by our experiences, our reading and our upbringing, and it's calling us to love and do good and avoid evil. That still small voice enables us to take responsibility for our actions and decisions. Our conscience is the best judge and jury as to how we are leading our lives. You know, when we make a good decision, the inner good feeling we get causes us to want to do it again. It leaves an indelible mark on our conscience. When we make a bad choice, the guilt felt leads to conversion, a conscience willing to change will give us hope and mercy and will make the right decisions in the future. That's what's called forming a good conscience. You know, when we reflect on our lives, we can recall when we've uh, slipped up and we've gone against that still small voice. Now, even though our conscience knew it wasn't right, we decided to ignore it and made a bad choice. And each of us can recall times when we listen to our conscience made the right moral choice, and immediately knew that God was guiding our path. You know, in jail ministry, I've met many good people who have made bad choices. They choose drugs, alcohol, sex, greed, a result of their lack of a well-formed conscience. In my talks, I try to instill the desire to make better decisions and to have some success that they can build on to help form a better moral compass. If you're having trouble making the right decisions, does your conscience bother you with the actions that you take that go against that still small voice in your heart? Do you take that one more hit of heroin, that one more shot of whiskey, that one more joint that you've just got to smoke, even though your conscience is telling you to stop? Do you quietly and secretly seek out pornography on the internet while your spouse and kids are in the next room? with that still small voice begging you to stop and asking you why? Are you still hiding that wedding ring when you travel for business, hoping to meet someone for casual sex when your conscience is telling you that you've got a beautiful family at home waiting for your return? Are you trying to diet, but still sneaking that afternoon candy bar, hoping that it doesn't matter when the still small voice in your heart is telling you that you're sabotaging your diet and your health. What can we do to help form a better conscience? What can we do to be more attentive to that still small voice that moves toward good and rejects evil? Well, the Catechism of the Catholic Church gives us some pretty good guidelines. Number one, realize that the formation of conscience is a lifelong task. We're constantly taught through practicing the virtues. We can cure our fears, selfishness, and pride, and as a result, we can get peace of heart. Number two, the formation of conscience, the Word of God is the light of our path. You know, as you study the Bible and listen to homilies at church and get good advice from your parents, the advice and guidance of people you admire, daily prayer, we form a stronger conscience and the ability to call on it when we face tough moral decisions. Number three, our conscience must be informed and judgment enlightened. If we don't have a well-formed conscience, then we're vulnerable to the negative influence of others. We've got to work at it. And finally, we must follow a couple of rules. Number one, never do evil that good might result of. Number two, follow the golden rule. Do unto others what you wish others to do to you. And number three, do nothing to make anyone else stumble. You know, a clear, well-formed conscience is liberating brings us closer to God. It gives us a healthy and happier life. It gives us a pure heart and a sincere faith. In the quiet of your heart, listen. What is that still, small voice telling you? If you enjoy these reflections, please subscribe or follow us here. If you think someone can benefit from them, feel free to share them across social media. This is Tony Agnesi. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you.